Uh, hi, good afternoon. Um, this is Tony with another episode of Car Packing. Today's episode, I'm going to give my pros and cons on the inkjet stencil machine or stencils. Or this is how I do my stencils as well. Um, I tried to use a matrix dot printer, that didn't work. <laughs> I bought a thermal transfer machine from ones that hooked up to the computer. Uh, they, that one was okay. I ended up selling it to a friend of mine. I didn't really like it though because everything ran together. All my my lines and I just, it wasn't really nice. And I was doing something by hand, of course, all the time. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, if you're doing hand stencils by hand, especially like portraits, things like that, um, you get the muscle memory. But sometimes, like, I'm, sometimes I get really busy and I don't have time to sit there and stencil for two, three hours. Well, it got to the point where I got tired of uh, stenciling for two to three hours and having the client not show the fuck up. So I got tired of that shit. I'm really tired. Of it. So I got to the point where I was like, there's got to be an easier way. So uh, I went online and looked at some different videos and seen this, and I'm like, oh, this is way too good to be true. So I had to try it. So I did. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over what I like about it. Now, when you get the inkjet um, system, okay, it comes comes with a, in a bottle. It's going to be a bottle similar to this. It's just going to say it's going to say inkjet on it, and it's going to be a blue bottle with ink. Okay, now. They personally recommend an Epson EcoTank printer, okay? They say it's because their ink isn't the heat or something. I don't know. I think the ladies just gave me a bunch of bullshit, so I would try Epson printers. Anyway, I don't like Epson. The reason, me and the wife went and bought not one, not two, but three fucking Epson printers, and all three of them were pieces of shit. <laughs> They made about five prints that were absolutely awesome, and then the thing just shit the can. So, <laughs> personally, my recommendation, don't use an Epson. This is what I use. Hon, can you come here? Yeah. I want, I want to show them. This is what I use, okay? It is a Canon G2200 series, and it's an Eco Tank printer, okay? Now, if you look, I have my colored print right here. This is the colored ones. This is the just the ink jet ink. The reason I have it set like that, if I need to size something, I've been using Photoshop and this thing for so long now, I pretty much can get the first size on the first shot. Okay. Now they say one bottle makes three thousand prints. If you look at my line, when I pour the bottle in this thing, I was just a hair over the line. And I have made I couldn't even tell you how many prints already so there's still a lot more before i need to put another bottle in this thing now luckily the first printer i ordered i called okay you can go back over there now the first printer ah uh, the first printer i got i called uh the people with inkjet they were cool enough to send me another bottle of ink now you can go to them um I will actually, um, can you, you can attach a link to this, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's, um, if I can see this, here we go. It is, do, 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 do. I just seen it and sent it. Anyway, I'll send a link to them. Um, the stuff's made in the U.S. Uh, I usually takes about a week to get, which isn't really bad. And for some reason, I don't see the. It's not on that one for some reason on this one. Yeah, that's crazy. It's uh the link is www.tataderm t a t u d e r m dot com. Um if you decide to go with this, 
Let him know that Tony from Park Pack Hank sent you to him. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, not that they'll give me shit, but hey, don't hurt to try, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, now, here's the thing. When I got the Epson printer the very first time, what I did, I did what they tell you to do, which they want you to... Your printer will come with a bottle similar, three of these, okay? What you do, take the ink out, dump it, rinse it out really well, pour the ink in these bottles, then use the little things. Now, I'm going to have to take this out. Put this out there. So, okay, um, come back with me here. Um, let, let, let me put some gloves on, just in case. I don't want to get this. Now, this shit will get on everything. When I tell you everything, like... It will get on whatever. So when you're <laughs> careful, or when you do this, be super freaking careful. Okay? Do not get this shit on anything because it stays in a heartbeat. And it stays that way. It stays. So, it definitely does. <laughs> it stay. does not so, come up. <laughs> what you want to do, okay, now, I don't know, I don't want to get sidetracked, okay? But I got to jump back over here. Now, when you get the Canon, because if you're if you do what I do, and I really honestly I don't care what they say, this is what I recommend. I bought one. I haven't had a problem with it since I bought it, and I've made literally hundreds and hundreds of stencils. So I don't know what she's talking about the heating element and it doesn't come back. Whatever. I just don't think they can get a thing with a Canon, so they want it safe, right? so they won't sponsor it or whatever. Or don't matter. Take my advice, go with the Canon printer. You won't go wrong. It's the 602200 series. Anyway, when you get the printer, it's going to come with these cartridges. Okay, you're going to have two. One's going to have a C on it for color. Another one is going to have a B on it for black. Okay? Now, they come with just a smidget of ink in those little sponges. So, the reason I have an extra one is I thought I would be a genius and take the top off, which, as you see, I did. Well, no, actually, I didn't on this one. Actually, I did have one. I had to buy, order new cartridges. Actually, I just ordered a whole new Canon. That's another long story. Or order new, a new printer. But anyway, learned a lesson on the first one. So, I'm not talking out of bullshit. I've done this. This works. Okay? Take my advice. What you do when you get the cartridge, you can get one of these anywhere. The hardware store, I'm sure, the dentist. All it is is just a big syringe. Well, this one now. Oh, no, it still works. It's still working. Okay. What I did is I just, if you look at the tip, I just cut the end of it off. This end, you see these little, you have one, two, three little holes. You see them? You got them in there, hon? Mm -hmm. All right. All you do is you take this, open this up, put it over the hole, boom, blow the ink. The ink's going to come out of the bottom of that. So make sure you take the tape off that, blow all the ink out. Do it like four, five, six, seven, I don't know. Till, I did it until it just was, nothing was coming out, okay? It took me about, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes of doing this, okay? Once you do that, then you put them in your printer. Now, actually, you don't, matter of fact, you only need to do this to the black. You don't even need to do it to the color. You can only have to do it to the black. If you look, be really careful. These little prongs in here aren't in there very well. I mean, they're on there. It's all, you know, crafted when they stamp them out the mold. But these things are real fragile. So when you put your thing over the top like so to blow the ink out, make sure you cut it far enough to where it fits nice and easy. Push flat down on it, then blow the air on. You'll see. It'll come right out of here. All the ink, okay? Once you have all the black ink out of there, or, <coughs> you know, 98% of it, because you're not going to get exactly all of it, doesn't matter. Trust me. This works. I'm telling you. Okay? What you do is you take your cannon. You're going to open it. Let me take the paper out over here real quick. Sit back there for now. You're going to open your printer up. All right. Uh, there we go. Okay. You're gonna open your. There. We're gonna open your printer up. This little thing in here is gonna slide out when it's new. I'm not gonna do it because I don't want my printer getting fucked up. 
So anyway, this thing's going to slide out automatically. These little cartridges, they're going to have you say one for color, one for black. You put the color in the C and the B and the black, okay? Click it down. You're going to click it, click it. Boom, it's going to... Now, follow the instructions. It will come with instructions on how to fill it, okay? Now, your EcoTank printer is going to be empty. This is what I do, okay? You come over where it says your colored inks, you blue for blue, magenta, yellow, boom, boom, boom. Put them in. I put mine about half full in each one. If you look, those are the right colors that go in here. The reason I did it this way, I'll explain in a minute, okay? And then if you look in this one where it says black, I have only put the inkjet stencil ink in, and it goes all the way up here, okay? Close it. Once that's done, it's going to run through its cycle. Okay, now, what I have done is I have calibrated my surface to my Canon printer. And the way I have it set up is when I print from Photoshop, it only prints in black ink. Therefore, when I run my... When it prints only in black, it is only printing in the inkjet stencil ink. Now, if I don't know the size of something, I'll print it on regular print. It will print with all the colors. It doesn't hardly use any of the inkjet ink, which, by the way, for the kit is about $250. I think for a re replacement bottle was $200, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Is that about right? Mm -hmm. Don't quote me. I'm not 100% so. sure, but I believe that's what it is. So the stuff isn't cheap, but it lasts forever. Problem I had is the first Epson printer I had, I did exactly what they told me to do, and it said to pour a little of each in each thing, so you only get about yay much in this one, yay much in that one, yay. And do it the way I tell you how to do it. I'm not going to scare you off, all right? It works, and you'll never have a problem with it. I haven't had a problem with it. I've had it now for about, I don't know, six months? Yeah. About that, right? I haven't mm -hmm. had an issue with it whatsoever. Okay, anyway, back to what I was saying. So when I print black, I only print in black, and then it only prints in the inkjet ink. Therefore, one, I'm saving a ton on the inkjet ink, which is maybe the why they don't want you to do it this way, or whatever. Anyway, I save a ton. Anyway, another thing on here is I can size whatever size I want when it prints the size. Once I find the size, even if it's not the right size, it barely uses any of that. It's using all this ink. Until, and then once I have the size I'm, I want to print it on or I'll make the print then I'll just use it Photoshop print it to that size and print it in only black ink or I think it's monochrome is the way it's set up and it prints my stencils now this um, is pretty awesome I just did a video um, just before this um, on the stencil that I'm about to print on this thing okay now, the print on this, it's really, actually really awesome, okay? All you do, and this is how I do it, um, I, this is a Surface Pro 2, it's an older one, it's all I can afford, it. I work with what I got, you know what I mean? I make it happen no matter what. Now, um, just going here, I'll show you real quick, there's the uh, picture I was working, did you get it? The picture I was working on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this. We'll say, let's say, for example, I was doing a poem. All right. Boom. Now, it uh, literally, I think it took me 10 minutes, 15 minutes to, do, to make this. 20 minutes, maybe, to yeah. make this, this design. And I literally just took two pictures I found and combined them with Photoshop. Um, I really like to learn more about Photoshop because I'm not really that familiar with it. I've just recently got turned on to it and uh, when I'm not when I get a chance when I get time I get to play with it but I don't get much of that okay now now my surface is already hooked up to the camera okay um, you know I did the insulation all that good stuff now when you get the inkjet kit you're gonna get um, you're going to get a bottle of stencil prep which is going to be this. 
And I'm going to do actually a stencil so you all can see what it looks like. But you get a bottle of stencil crap, which is awesome stuff. Um, and you get um, a, a whole, I think it's like a thousand, five thousand sheet of uh, inkjet stencil paper. Now, this is where they kind of get you to because you have to use the ink. You don't have to. They tell you you don't have to. But I find out the inkjet stencil paper works the best. So obviously you're going to use what's the best for you and your client. So I use it. I just buy it from them. They, you know, every, but it, they get, you get quite a, like I said, you get quite a few. I've had this now for, I don't know, a few months. I tattoo quite a bit and it's definitely saved me so much time that it's worth its weight angle. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some paper in here. Um, you can put one sheet at a time, whatever. I just usually just kind of load her up. And sometimes I just don't have time to be trying to find paper and stuff. Okay, so now that I've made, already made my stencil, okay, now if, um, this is going to be, again, two separate videos. If you like so far what you see, what you hear, um, hit the like and subscribe button. The more likes, the more subscribers, the more videos I'll put out there for you. Um, I'm working on getting a GoPro, hopefully soon, something where I can do actually, you know, uh, videos of the tattoos, um, and do, you know, streams. Um, maybe I'll do a live, you know, live stream. I'll be able to do all that. So, um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, back to this. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to go in here. File. I mean, literally, it may, took me, I don't know, not very long to come up with this little, cool little design. You know, I would come in and probably fix the few a little bit as I shave, but what, um, but this is, this is just, I just put this together real quick as an example for you guys. Um, but, okay, so, anyway, I'm coming here. Let me make sure I'm hooked up. This one, because this is the answer. That's why. Okay, file. Duh. I'm, sometimes I'm really slow. Yeah, it <laughs> takes me minutes for my brain to work. Okay, now. Um, here we go, here we go, here we go. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Alright, now, I can size this basically pretty much any way I want to at this point, guys. Okay? And this is all Photoshop. I mean... You can't go wrong for ten dollars a month, people. You know what I mean? If you're tattooing and you don't have Photoshop, you're sleeping on in the game, people. <laughs> for real. I can imagine doing I can imagine life without it. Alright, we're just gonna say I want to, we're gonna go nine and a half. And this would be probably uh, now just because I can use this, I've used this for so long. This is probably gonna be about from here. And I'm just going to print one, just so you guys can see what it looks like printed out, okay? Um, Alright, honey, you want to come over to here? I don't even really need to be in there, just so you can zoom in on the picture and have them check it out when it comes. Now, literally, this is how long it takes to do. It sounds like no time at all. So, if you ever have, you know, clients that want matching tattoos... Like, you know, this is going to be exact. You have a portrait, it's going to be exactly a portrait, like, down to the T. And, bada boom, bada bang. I'm going to bring this over here, hon. And then I'm going to show you guys some more stencil. I can just set that over there for now. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, now, if you come. Um, this is a sensor right here. So let me just so I can give you an idea of the detail and I'll put it on some black paper. But when that sensor comes out, it's gonna come out just like that. You're gonna get all those shades, everything. And I'm gonna show you in a minute. But yeah, let's just run the whole thing up and down. I don't see if you can see it all. You got it really good? Yeah. 
Okay, awesome. Now here's uh here's some more. Now here's one of a regular copy. Now this is the regular copy I was talking about. When I do a copy and I don't think see what I mean, there's some inkjet in that, but it's there's like hardly none though. So you're hardly using any of it when you do it this way. And this is just the size of the tattoo that I want to make. And this is on regular paper here. But do you see the detail in that thing? It is ridiculous. Like, you know, what would take me hours to stencil. I'm just going to show you pictures of stencils real quick here. Just let me know when you get it really good, huh? Got it. And then, like, the stencils on these things are crazy. Like, this one here is <laughs> ridiculous. Like, come on. Like, it would take me hours to sit there and get all that hair, um, like, where the lace is down in here. Like, go in on this one. Like, really go in and show them. Like, it's the light on that. I can see it really Pretty good. good. Okay. Yeah. Like, I want to show them, like, the detail. And all this shows up when you do the stencil. Now, it did take me a minute to learn how to do the stencils on these things. It's not like your normal stencil. This is true. But the detail you get, like, it's crazy. And it's so easy. Like, it saves me so much time. Chris, I'm telling you, bro, you can't go wrong. I'm not, like, it's, like, and you can make them any size. Um, I didn't, I needed to align that there. But, I mean, that's simple stuff. But you can get, the stencils are ridiculous. And I'm just, like, showing real quick, like, you know, um, different, um, you know, and you can play it around to make it as dark of a stencil you want. I don't need it that, I don't usually use it really super dark, um, it, depending on what it is, I still do, like, I'll still, um, mark my lines in there. And they usually come out darker where I need my lines at. You see, there's lines I did on here. This one came out, I had to realign my printer. But, yeah, I mean, other than the simple of realign, which took a few minutes. You know what I mean? But uh, the stencils, again, are really, really good. So, um, there's another one. Yeah, there's, uh, you guys might have seen it. That face before. I actually, this is with the, I did it by hand when I had to do it, but, <laughs> okay. Now, um, so, the, here's the pros. The pros is it takes no time. It's, it's really easy. Um, the stencils do last. Um, I know you guys like, 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 oh, well, when I first got it, I put it on, I let it sit for about 10 minutes. I wiped it, it came off. I'm like, oh, this is trash. You know, I mean, I'm getting these cool, nice stencils, but they don't want to stay on. Well, then I did some reading and found out that I wasn't leaving them set up in drywall. So I do recommend, once the stencil is applied, give give it a good 20 minutes or so at least. Um, I'm going to get a stencil on you, Han. We'll do it right here. It's, okay. It ain't going to be not like... Um, yep. I'm just going to put the thing right here. And this is going to be a stencil I did earlier. This is just, you know, a spot there. Um, this is a, uh, oh, check that out, guys. That's one of the Marilyn Monroe tattoos I'm working on. Um, it's not finished yet, but it's a good process. It is a cover up. Uh, it's getting there, though. But, um,. And the wife is beautiful. Alright, huh? Stay right there for a sec. Okay. Uh, let me get some uh, hand sanitizer. I use uh, just regular no scented, plain white, clear, clear, I guess, hand sanitizer, whatever Germex I use, I think. Works really well. And I just clean it off really good. And hopefully I don't goose bump up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, you do have a problem with that. I know, too. I really do. Yeah, that's one thing about this. <laughs> it's, it is really hard to sense somebody if their skin gets all goose bumped up. But it's fairly warm in here, so I think we'll yeah. be okay. All right. Now, no. Uh, 
fist bump. <laughs> All you gotta do, make sure your spray show up, give it a couple of good little squirts. Now, this is a trick. You wanna rub this in, literally, until it starts turning white. And it takes a while. You just gotta keep rubbing it in, rubbing it in, rubbing it in, rubbing it in. There. That's pretty good. Now, you're gonna take your stencil. The reason I do it this way, it kind of compresses the whole stencil to the skin. Um, and I make sure I get it all that way. Better than I can get it, I think. It's a little trick. I just, I don't know. I invented, I should I should patent that, huh? Mm. It's a cool little <laughs> trick. I just, I don't know. It just made sense to me when I did it. All right. Now, I'll pull that off. See how that hits? Now that stencil is nice and flat, we're just going to give it a minute. We're going to let it sit for a minute, just like that. Then, I'm going to go ahead and let the water cool a little bit. Now, see, for me, that's plenty dark enough. Now, anybody could go lighter if they wanted to, or darker. Uh, this is how I have mine set. This is how I did my stencil on Photoshop, so it stays that nice and dark. And then, um, I use Intense Green Glide, um, and I'll show you why in a minute. Um, I'm going to let that set for, um, we're going to wait about 10, actually, I'm going to wait about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to come back. Okay, but first, I'm, I'm going to show you this again. Show you the detail in this thing. And pull your arm if you can for me, huh? I'm going to go far from your arm. And yeah, just hold your arm right there. And then you can see the scooby effect on it. And literally all the details in there. Isn't that awesome? It's freaking awesome anyway. I mean, it's literally a paint by number at this point. You just gotta follow your, you know, your design. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead, wait 20 minutes, I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you why, you know, I do. I use Green Glide on it and why it works. All right, all right, guys, signing off. All right, well, uh, we're only about, actually, we're only about, what, 15 minutes later? Not even 10? Yeah. Uh, this is what I'm, this is what I use when I'm doing my tattoos. I use Ink Ease Green Glide. It works. The original uh, works really well. Um, another reason I do use it, now, this here is just, I don't really have that covered when I'm doing tattoos. I cover everything. Um, but anyway, this is just for demonstration purposes. Uh, again, this is what I use. It's not necessarily the right thing or the wrong thing. It's just how I do it. And again, if you like the videos, reach over, like, and subscribe. Thank you. Um, let me see your arm. Huh? Now, this has only been dried, I'm going to say, 10, 15 minutes? Something like that. If that. Now, normally on a tattoo, I would normally wait about 20 minutes to a half hour. But I want to play some duty, and I ain't got no clients today, so <laughs> we're just going to go ahead. And what I normally do, before I even start the tattoo, I'll come over with this, and I'll just dab it real easy. What this kind of does for it, kind of creates a barrier. Also, when I'm tattooing, if I have uh, line work that I'm doing... Kind of creates a little barrier so the ink doesn't get everywhere. 
you know, but more importantly, it will sustain your stencil. It will keep it on there for you. And it will keep it on there for as long as you need it to be on there. Now, again, I don't make my symbols really too, um, too dark. Um, it's on there long enough for me to finish my tattoo from beginning to end. Um, now, once I have a nice little layer on there, okay, what I'll do is, uh, say I'm tattooing, boom, boom, I guess I'm not tattooing this one, so I'm not going to actually tattoo it, but I am going to wipe it, and I am going to wipe it and wipe it, and you're going to see how long this thing will stay on your client, so, say I'm I'm starting down here, boom, you know, I got skin stretched out, I'm tattooing, I'm wiping, boom, I'm wiping, wiping, I'm wiping, wiping, I'm wiping, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to put some more, now, I continue to use Green Glide on my stencils, the whole time I'm doing it, I just apply a little thin coat so it's not everywhere, and I'm going to, I get another paper towel. Okay. And anyway, it doesn't even look like I'm wiping it off at all. And I'm, you can see it's coming off, but it goes on there. Now, can you imagine? If I'd have left this in for another 10 minutes. <laughs> um, the point of my video is this stuff is amazing. You really <laughs> go wrong. And I'll continue to wipe. And wipe. Mm -hmm. I'm going to continue to do this. Just so you see exactly how well this stuff is. Like it's a joke. Now, I would, like I said, I would continue to put green light on it. Like I am. I actually forgot there. But as long as you keep this thing nice and moved up like that, with this green light and white, nice and easy, and if you're using decent ink, um, so trying to find a really good decent ink. Um, so I, yeah, I try to use Empire, but they don't consider me a tattoo artist, so they won't let me use their ink, whatever they can, you know, be aware, and whatever, <laughs> anyway, um, as you see, guys, <laughs> this shit is no joke, it's awesome, right, you can't go wrong with it, and as, like I said, Definitely holds up. I think I got enough here just to, you know what I mean, give you guys a good reference. Like, I'm wiping, I'm wiping the shit out of this thing. <laughs> if I'm doing this on somebody, on tattoo, they should punch me in the throat. <laughs> I'm wiping this freaking hard on it. Yeah, but look, guys, this shit is not going to last. You know what I mean? You guys get the idea, you get the point. Alright, cool, I'm out. You guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Carpac Inc. I'll be putting more videos out there. Take care, guys.